These people have traveled for days to stand here at the Pedwest port of entry. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, thank God, and thank the United States. Nilso Alexander and his friend Angel Lial came from Venezuela. Others in the group are from countries like China, Cuba, and Syria. The politics are very bad. The lack of safety, mainly with crime and police. Both of them are complete chaos. Although this port has been closed since Saturday, Customs and Border Protection officers are letting them through. That's because they're migrants using the CBP-1 app to apply for asylum and legally enter the United States. The app was easy to use because everything is detailed. It says step by step how to fill it out. They're among thousands who have crossed our border in the last couple of months. On Monday, Supervisor Jim Desmond posted this on X. It reads, since September 13th, more than 50,000 migrants have been dropped in San Diego County. Well, it's a lot more than we've ever seen. I asked CBP and the county about the number of drop-offs. Neither would confirm it, but I looked on CBP's website and their data shows tens of thousands of encounters per month at the southern border. This year, there were 100,000 more encounters compared to last year. That's about a 40% increase. It's shocking, but it, but it's, you know, if this is what we're going to do with the border by not, not having it closed and secure and have a proper process that's humane to everybody on both sides, uh, this is the mayhem and chaos that it's created. For now, Alexander and Lial are going to stay with their families in Utah and Missouri. They told me they will appear before an immigration judge in four and a half years on May 11th, 2028. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.